Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Florida de Lis pattern in Photoshop. First off, we are going to create our document. So go ahead and click on Create New. The dimensions for this document, I'm going to use is 600 pixels by 600 pixels, resolution 300 pixels per inch, color mode, RGB color, and then I'm going to change my background contents to transparent. Go ahead and click Create. Zooming in on my canvas here. Okay, we are going to use the custom shape tool. So right clicking here, you're going to select custom shape tool. From the drop down menu, you want to select legacy shapes and more. If you do not see this, then we're going to go to the shapes panel. So under window, select shapes. From here, you will hit on the uh, three stack icon here. You want to click on legacy shapes and more and then it will be loaded into the shape panel here so we'll go ahead and close that so clicking back up here again under legacy shapes and more go and click through all legacy default shapes and then scroll down until you find ornaments clicking it down and then you'll see that florida lease shape here so you can select it and then just shift and drag creating a um, object here okay and then under fill you're going to change it to black stroke we're going to have a no stroke here and then I'm just going to center it so I'm going to use the marquee tool M command A to select everything shifting V to be able to um, use the move tool and use these align to center horizontally and vertically. I'm gonna go ahead and deselect their Command D. From here, we are going to duplicate this layer. So we will right click, duplicate layer, clicking on OK. Next, we are going to create a filter. So we're gonna to go to Filter, Other, Offset. And then it will prompt you to convert it to a smart object. From here, um, when you're dealing with the offset, you want to use half of your document dimensions. So in this case, we had 600 pixels by 600 pixels. So we're going to change this to uh, 300 pixels by 300 pixels here. And that will um, cause it to go in the corners. And you under undefined areas, you want to make sure wrap around is selected. And then click on OK. And now we have our seamless uh, repeat pattern and so we can define the pattern. So we're gonna go to edit, define pattern, and then you can give your pattern a name, click on okay. And then we are going to create a new document. So let's go file new. This time I'm gonna use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, 3,600 pixels by 3,600 pixels, a resolution of 300 pixels per inch, color mode will be RGB color and then a background contents we will switch it to white and we'll go ahead and click create from here we are going to use a pattern adjustment layer so in the layers panel click on the pattern or the pattern adjustment layer and then using the drop down select your most recent pattern here and then uh, when this uh, dialog box is open, you have the option to angle it. You can scale it up or down. You can even uh, move it around in the dialog box here. Otherwise, you can snap it back to the original and click OK. From here, we are going to give it a solid color adjustment layer. So we'll go solid color. And then I'm going to choose one of my swatches here and then click OK. And then next we are going to create a clipping mask. So with the color fill layer selected, right click, you're going to select create clipping mask or you can use the keyboard shortcut and you're going to hover between the two layers and then click option click uh, for Mac users. I believe that is alt click for PC. And then you can do the same by adding a, a solid color fill layer for the background. Let's take our another swatch color here and click on OK there. So now uh, we have our Florida Lease pattern here. And so uh, let's go ahead and create another variation. So we'll jump back into um, our original document here. We'll go ahead and duplicate this layer. And then we'll just turn uh, one of them off. And then with this layer, let's go ahead and rotate it. So we'll go edit. Uh, transform path and then we are just going to rotate it 180 degrees 
And then from here, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit to um, make this space a little bit more narrower now that I've actually rotated, flipped it over. And so uh, we are going to uh, define this one, edit define pattern, click OK. Jumping back into our other document here, let's go ahead and group this layer together. And then you can do that by right clicking group from layers or you can use the keyboard shortcut command G for Mac users. And then we will duplicate this group, clicking on OK and then opening it up here and then we will change to our new pattern here. And so now we have a fun uh, little twist on this where you change the orientation of your um, Fleur de Lis symbol here. Clicking on OK. And then let's go ahead and give it some new colors. Let's try maybe a mint with a uh, green there. So now we have a, uh, another pattern here. So the next step is to um, save it as digital scrapbook paper. So going to File, Save As. Go ahead and give your file a name, select your folder, and then under format, you're gonna change it to JPEG. You wanna make sure this embed color profile is still selected and then click save. And then uh, when saving digital scrapbook paper, if you're planning on selling it, you will want to uh, make sure it's a high quality. So just dragging uh, the quality size up to the maximum and then just click on okay. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a Fleur de Lis pattern in Photoshop. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description, I will leave a link to my shop where I sell Photoshop pattern templates. You can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell digital scrapbooking paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.